This fight, four rounds at Cruiserweight, that's John Shearer, he's making his pro debut. And now making his way to the ring, William Hamilton! Hamilton is the home fighter, gets the ring walk, and he's making his pro debut as well, and who's a good amateur one, an ABA title for the under 20 bounce category, that was a heavyweight, a Repton man. As a vested fighter, only lost a couple under 28 fights and 22 of his 26 wins came from stoppage, so that is a good resume. He's down at the eye box as well with Al Smith and Eddie Lamb, and he's a full time fighter and now with MTK, so that is, that is some recommendation. Those are some credentials when you consider the people he's got guiding him and, and backing him. Interesting to see what he's got. Shearer was a Repton fighter as an amateur as well. I don't think their times there coincided though. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for four rounds in a cruiserweight contest. Your referee at the bell, Mr. Chaz Coakley, and your timekeeper, Mr. Bob Edgeworth. Introducing first and fighting out of the red corner, officially weighing in at 14 stone, 4 pounds and 14 ounces, making his pro debut tonight and wearing green and black shorts from Hammersmith, London. Please welcome John Shearer. And introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner. Officially, he weighed in at 40 in stone, one pound and three ounces. Also making his pro debut inside the ring tonight and wearing white and blue shorts from Raynham, Essex. Please welcome William Hamilton. <laughs> Referee will now give his instructions to the boxers. Okay, fellas, already spoke to you both. Keep them punches up. No using the edge. Touch gloves, good luck. I think this could be interesting because Shearer is 28 years old, he's looking to box in the away corner and make some money, but he was a good amateur, that's Hamilton we're looking at there, and I told you all about him as he was on his way to the ring, but his opponent has got some good pedigree, had 50 plus fights as an amateur at Repton, 135 to 40 he told me, stopped boxing as an amateur 7-8 years ago, but he's still been training, he still loves fighting, and so decided that he may as well get paid for it he was doing the training he was doing some sparring and he got the call for this one yesterday to Southpaw as well as you can see Anthony in those predominantly white shorts Shearer in the black Shearer just looking for a nice straight left hand to the body there Hamilton thought he was going to be making his debut here in November on the undercard of the Super Lightweight quarterfinals. It didn't quite work out. His opponent pulled out late on and it was just too late to find another one for him. Faint there from Shearer with the front foot and moves out of the corner quite nicely. You know, 30 seconds or so, left hand low, he's trying to faint and touch around with that. We can see he's trying to load that right hand up. Again, lovely shot. And that right hand is straight down the centre, it's, it's finding Hamilton kind of every time at the moment. And, and as you say, he's holding that left glove low and just looking to try and fire it straight down the middle. He is looking to get that front foot on the outside of the southpaw's front foot, which is what the coaching manual prescribes, but he really is just looking for that one shot and he's landing it. Yeah, he is. he's landed it several times. Right hand against the southpaw is ideal. You know, quite often the southpaw and the orthodox, their lead hands can cancel each other out a little bit and it becomes a battle of the backhands and that's it's the right hand that Hamilton's uh, trying to land here and has landed several times already in this round. And Shearer just backing off. Right 
looks for the jab. Hamilton is just a study in concentration, just shuffling forward with that front foot, waiting for the next chance to launch that right hand. Decent jab there from Hamilton. And he's blowing a bit, Shearer, towards the end of this first round. He's taken this at a day's notice, as I mentioned, and it's a debut. Clumsy that from Hamilton. Yeah, he's pushing in a little bit too gone the hole there. So we've had a look at the super lightweights. Let's have a look at the featherweights who we'll be seeing in this ring later on at the semi-final stage. That's Tyro McCullough. Now he was chosen by Ryan Walsh when Walsh drew out the golden ball earlier in the week. McCullough is a tricky, tricky opponent. Very, very quick feet, difficult to pin down, hard to hit, doesn't land all that heavy himself but he does land and catching him well that is not an easy job Walsh though confident in his own ring craft and he is a crafty fighter and he'll be able to find the time here busy man tonight It didn't take Hamilton too long to find his range with that straight right hand. I think that again will be the shot he's looking for. He's got the left hand very low. He's going to still still needs to utilize that jab, still needs to touch, find the range, faint, maybe throw a few left hooks as well. But I think the right hand is certainly the, the, the danger shot from him. That's a decent cuffing lead left hook there from Hamilton, just as you were saying that. But but you're right, that's that's what he's looking for every time. He just creeps in with that front foot and Looks to try and find a home for that right, and Shearer's just keeping those feet on the move enough that that isn't an easy thing to do. There's that right hand, just as I say that. He was moving those feet back, he got caught on the retreat and dumped straight into the ropes. By the look of his eyes, and he was quite close to us, I think he's OK, but he's got two minutes left to negotiate here. Yeah, I don't think he was hurt with that shot, I think he was pulling away, his balance wasn't too good and he got caught at the end of the punch. So not, with, not where the real power was at, but he definitely was a, obviously a legit knockdown. It was a punch that caused it, but I think he was very much moving away from the shot and his balance wasn't great when he took it. So I don't think he was hurt by that punch. So, you know, not, certainly not heavily hurt anyway. But it'll certainly have given Hamilton a lot of confidence. Now he's looking to really load up here and plant his feet. He's looking for power in these shots. And looked for the uppercut on the inside there as well. And when Shearer got hold of him, he was very quick to turn him and push him back into the ropes, into the second half of the round. And I think it's in the later stages of rounds that Shearer's going to find this particularly difficult because, as I say, he took this at a day's notice. Yeah, that was a hard right hand that Hamilton was able to land again. Putting the left hand out there, a good right hand again. Nice, short, hard, accurate right hand down the middle. And every time he lands one of them, it's just going to chip away. Just going to put a little bit more of a dent in Shearer. And deep into this final minute now. He's looking to try and keep those hands up. He doesn't need to get trapped in the corner. And just as it looked like he might, Hamilton stepped off him and kind of let him out. Yeah, and I think the more stationary, you know, that Shearer gets and the more tired his legs get, I think that's when Hamilton's really going to be able to plant his feet and really dig in some hard right hands here. There's some blood coming from the nose of Shearer as well. And there's another right hand. And down he goes, a little bit of a shake of the head there as he looks out of the ring. Six, seven, eight. And the referee has decided that enough is enough there. He would have had a good look at John Shearer, maybe he just had a little whisper to him to see how he is, and pretty much bang on the halfway stage of the fight. He waved his arms and signalled that this one was all over. And that's a fair call, because I think it was delaying the inevitable to allow it to go on any longer, really. Yeah, I think so. I think the ref looked at him, I think he looked at his body language and thought, you know, you're not going to quit the fight, you've been knocked down here. I don't need to see any more, this is really one-sided now. Been a couple of knockdowns, fights over as far as he was concerned, and I think it was the fact that the right ball. And that landed right on the chin. 
pretty much at the end of his journey when that one landed. That was the first knockdown, and the second was a bit heavier, just dumped him into the ropes, and although he did get back to his feet. The referee was having a good, good look there, and it was the right thing to do. Yeah, it was the right thing to do, and, and I, I think the Shearer was glad it was called off too. The fight had been beaten out of him, it was, it was the right call for the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chaz Coakley has called a stop to the action at the official time of 2 minutes and 54 seconds of round number 2, declaring a winner and now 1-0 and oh in his professional career, William Hamilton! Well, he's had to be patient, Hamilton, he's had to wait. He thought he was going to make his debut in November. It's ended up coming a few months after that, but he'll have very much enjoyed that. And he'll now be able to go backstage, get showered, and hopefully for him, be able to take a ringside seat and have a look at the Golden Contract semi-finals, which are coming up later on. And we've been around this all week, Matt, and it's had a really good feel for it. I think part of the reason is that when you've got a massive fight going on, like Wilder against Fury, it just permeates to all levels of boxing, and there's a buzz around the whole sport as a result, and that's definitely been the case.